Welcome to What's On TV's peak at next week's prime soap plots. Ian Beale suffered enough heartache for five lives, enough calamity to crush stronger men. But Ian, that beard, it's beyond any previous indignity. The week starts with Lucy, Whitney and Lauren taking on charity work in exchange for gig tickets, only to learn they'll be helping feed the homeless. The boys come to Lucy's aid when her boiler breaks down and she heads off with the girls for their volunteer day. Suddenly, Lauren spots someone familiar. Lauren and Whitney agonise over whether to tell Lucy, while Max and Tanya enlist Alfie to find him, and they bring the cat weasel lookalike home. But why is Lucy indifferent about seeing her dad again? Tanya confronts Cora about the birth certificate she found for her sister Ava, but Cora won't talk about it, saying she died at birth, and throws Tanya out. Zainab's perplexed about why Maz would throw in his job as a postie to become a teaching assistant, but calms down after a chat with Saeed. But Maz soon has a change of heart when he starts his new career and realises he won't be able to afford the wedding or Tam's tuition fees. Meanwhile, Christian angers Saeed when he enters Yasmin in a tiny tots contest, until he sees first prize is 500 quid. So Zainab enters Camille. Next, it's Cory. Tommy's suffering working two jobs, and after he locks a customer's keys in a boot, Tyron says he can have a month's break from his debt. Tommy suggests a weekend break in Blackpool to Tina, but Kirsty loses her cool over Tyrone's repayment break. After another beating, Tyrone backtracks on the loan break, infuriating Tina, but then she sees his bruises, and the whole grim story is revealed. Kylie goes out with Ryan when David says he just wants a quiet night in, but the drunken pair is soon shown the door of the bistro. Ryan later offers Kylie some coke at the Rovers, but she storms off and David soon hammers on Michelle's door to reveal her son's a class A fool. Michelle finds her boy up to his eyes and nose candy and desperate sets the police onto him, although he gets off with a caution. Michelle cuts up his bank cards and Steve agrees to give him another chance on the switch, but that may be more to do with his lust than his humanity. A bitter Stella tells Carl she wants the pub signed over to her, and while Sunita vows to help him fight for his half, Carl quietly agrees to sign it all over. Finally, we're in the Dales. What a pickle Rachel and Jay have got themselves into. She insists he's got to tell Charity they're expecting. Can't wait for that chat, but he's understandably nervous. Meanwhile, Charity suggests to a struggling Carl they take on the King's haulage contract through the Sharmas, but that goes down predictably badly. Rishi wants in on Charity's plan, and they meet with strikes to secure the deal. To celebrate, Charity books a break for her and Jay, a perfect time to reveal all. Amy's mad mum Kerry winds up in hospital in a diabetic coma after a drinking binge, and Amy understandably wants nothing to do with her, despite Kerry's pledge to put things right. Pollard suggests they let homeless Kerry stay the night, and as she packs to leave, Amy has an about turn and says she can stay. She'll regret that. Moira and Alex are having a bit of flirty fun, despite her urging him to pick up the pieces with Victoria. But Alex prefers cougar hunting. He tries to kiss her and is humiliated when she laughs him off. However, she may be concealing deeper feelings. And Priya's on the prowl when David reveals his marriage is a fake. He's effectively single, so what makes him hesitate with the pretty charmer girl? 